Welcome to all year 10 and 12 students, parents, carers and teachers who are watching this short information video about social distancing policies at Glenthorne. Now the aims of this video are to just to familiarise you all with the expectations in school around safety and social distancing. Staff are really looking forward to seeing you all again um, and we hope you're excited about returning too. First, let's consider social distancing when we're traveling to and from school. You must walk, cycle, or get a lift into school if at all possible. If you must use public transport, ensure that you follow the social distancing measures that TfL have put in force on buses and on trains and all public transport in Greater London. You could also wear a facial covering or a mask to offer further protection. In school, you must be sociable. It will be a really happy moment for us all to see friends, colleagues again, and it will be really nice to greet everyone and celebrate that moment when we all return back to school. However, we must maintain social distance when we do this. I know this will be difficult, but you be, there should be no hugs no handshakes or fist bumps or anything alike there should be no sports or games between people yet no gathering in big groups where it will be tougher to keep a two meter distance from everyone the most important thing is traveling to and from school around the school buildings you must maintain a two meter distance when in lessons these are the four key principles for social distancing. The first, don't line up in the corridor waiting to go in. You're to go straight into the classroom on your timetable. Your teacher will be in the room and they'll tell you which table to sit at. Make sure when you enter a classroom and when you leave, you wash your hands. There'll be alcohol gel available for you to do this. Don't wait for your friends in the corridors or anywhere else in school. You need to stay in your social bubble whilst at school. You can only come in for the lessons with the people you've been put with. And finally, don't lend or borrow equipment to one another. You should bring your own. And if you really do, in that rare, rare exception, need to borrow something from someone, please ask your teacher rather than borrowing from another student. And finally, when walking around the school, here's the four principles for you to think about. You can wear a mask if you wish. If you do choose to wear a mask, this doesn't give you full protection. You must still maintain that two meter gap. Avoid touching your face and eyes as this can transmit the virus. You can use your sleeve or arm if possible, if you've got an itch, or if you must touch your face, hands, eyes, wash your hands, touch your face, and then wash them again. Washing your hands is a really important step. Wash them often, wash them thoroughly, use alcohol gel when you need to, use soap and water when you can and finally if you show any symptoms you must stay at home this is not just for you the student but also for your family members anyone showing symptoms must not come into school anyone living with a member of the family or friend who's showing symptoms must not come into school you must contact the student office to inform them that you're showing symptoms. They will give you and your family some further advice. We hope this presentation has been useful and we look forward to greeting you all back at Glenthorne in the near future. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.